Hey, what's going on guys? Michael from Spruce and Sharp here. Hope you're all doing well. And in this video, we're going to be shifting gears a little bit. And instead of talking about a hairstyling product, we are instead going to be talking about some tools that we could style our hair with. And both of these products come to us from the Steel Tooth Comb Company. So we have their handle comb as well as their dresser comb. And Steel Tooth reached out to me not too long ago asking if I'd be interested in doing a review of their combs. So I said, you know what? I've never really used a metal comb before. Sure, send me your combs. I'll check them out. And I've been using them for a couple days now and I've noticed that there are a few advantages and disadvantages of using metal combs so I thought I would share my thoughts on them with all of you but before all that though let's of course take a look at the company and these products themselves so the steel tooth comb company they're pretty new from what I could gather and the really cool thing is that they are trying to make really high quality metal combs that are targeted very specifically at people like myself and other serious hair product users, which is pretty cool that there are some other brands that are getting into other aspects of the men's grooming market other than just hair and beard products. So it is really cool to see these sort of specialty metal combs. And currently they offer two types of combs. They offer this handle comb and they offer this dresser comb here. And I've been using both of them, and for the most part, they both have the same set of advantages and disadvantages to using them that I wanna share with all of you. And of course, we're gonna start though kind of with what the brand advertises about these products in general. What they advertise is they advertise a superior alternative to plastic or acetic combs, and claiming that products like the plastic and acetic combs, they generate a lot of static, they can be more difficult to style your hair with. But of course, I do wanna share with you all sort of my experience using these to see whether or not they really Really stack up against any of those advertised claims. So let's just start though with some advantages of using a metal comb compared to a plastic or acetate comb. The first advantage would be that they are simply very, very sturdy combs. You could put these through a lot of abuse and they are going to stand up. They're going to really withstand the test of time and you could travel with them potentially and they should be able to hold up pretty well. They're not going to break the same way that a plastic comb would. The other advantage that I noticed is that they are very sturdy. They have a much more rigid tension to them so as you see they're not very bendy they're not going to be super bendy and flimsy or anything like that and that will affect how they style your hair compared to another type of comb and the other thing too is they're pretty easy to clean because the thing is with plastic and acetate combs you need to be a little bit gentler with how you clean them but these ones I would just probably put this in the dishwasher and clean it when I want to wash it so it is pretty easy to clean now, there are some disadvantages though. This might not actually be the most portable comb. I mean, if you look at it, it's pretty big and so is the other one. And it's made of metal, so you might not be able to take it everywhere, especially where there's metal detectors. You might have some problems with that. The other thing too is I think that these combs might be a little too intense for people with fine or thin hair. If you have medium hair or very thick or coarse hair, I think these will be particularly advantageous because they will really help just control your hair and really just help get through the styling product. But I think these could be a little too aggressive for people with finer hair types. And the other problem I think is that I don't think these will work as well with certain types of products. I think these will work really, really well with very waxy, oil-based or water-based pomades. They'll work well with some certain clays. But for products that are lighter and stiffer and stickier and don't have as much wax to them, like paste or cream products, I don't know if these have provide any sort of really superior advantage or anything like that. So of course, though, I do just want to share with you my experience using these combs. So personally, when I've used these combs in the past, I actually really, really did like this one. I liked the handle comb a lot. I felt it was really nice and sturdy. It had a very unique tension to it. Had a lot of control when styling. You didn't really have to move your comb over the same part of your hair over and over again, which was really nice about this one. Now, the dresser comb, I do have one chief complaint about this one. So this one is styled like a pretty standard dresser comb but it has a set of wide teeth and a set of slightly narrower teeth on the other side but just looking at it it's kind of hard to tell right away unless you're really staring at it and it might look different on the camera but just to me like this these do not look much closer together than these ones so it's kind of hard to tell but it will sort of make a difference when you actually style your hair with this you will actually notice the difference so I, though, I don't know if I necessarily use this one as much, though, just because I prefer combs that have handles. So this handle comb here, I really like that it has the custom um, wrapping around the handle, and you can get this in a bunch of different colors. And the teeth are a nice, like, medium teeth spacing, 
And I really like that it has that rigid tension. Like I said, I like the handle so my hand isn't in my hair when I'm styling it. And I'll just kind of show you how it works. So right now in my hair, I have the Grim Grease Tuscan Leather. It's a firm hold water-based pomade. It's pretty waxy. So I think this is a good sort of product to test it out with. So I'm just gonna mess up my hair a little bit here. And I'm just gonna kind of show you what it's like to style with this comb. And as you see, it gives pretty nice comb lines. And it does a generally decent job of taming my hair. Now the thing is, compared to a lot of plastic combs, I don't feel like these ones catch on the hair the same way that a lot of plastic or acetate combs do. This one does a really good job of just moving very nice and smoothly through the hair. And it makes styling a pretty easy process. So. Overall, I really do think that it makes styling somewhat easier. Now, uh, the dresser comb, though, I am, like I said, not as crazy about. And here it is with the wider teeth. And with the wider teeth, I don't really think it catches the hair very well because it kind of loosens things up a little too much for me. And it doesn't really grip the hair the same way that the handle comb does. But if I use the narrower teeth, I still think it kind of doesn't necessarily do as good of a job as the handle comb either. So this dresser comb, I was not honestly too pleased with. I think it doesn't do a good job of grabbing the hair and ordering it in a certain way as good as a handle comb did. I think this one, you need to go over your hair a little bit more or you need to pay a little bit more attention when using this comb compared to the handle comb. So for me though, because I know these combs are also going to be a little bit more because they're made of metal, I would recommend if you had to choose between one or the other, definitely the handle comb because I think this one actually would work really, really well for a slicker, neater sort of hairstyle. Now for this one though, I honestly just didn't think it gripped the hair very well and my hair sort of didn't really obey as well as it did with this comb. So definitely recommend this one. This one, it just wasn't for me. So. I think though, if you really have had some issues with plastic or acetate combs and really getting a style that you want or you find that you have to keep styling your hair over and over again to get a result that you're looking for, maybe it might be time for you to explore something like this. It might be time for you to try out a metal comb. And I think with this one especially, it was pretty nice and I think this one would definitely be worth the money because the craftsmanship is nice, doesn't feel like it's tugging or snagging on your hair, doesn't generate any static to it. It's really nice and sturdy and the only real gripe that I would have with a metal comb in general is that they're probably not the most portable in all situations. So really though, if you want one just to have at home to style with, I really think this one would be pretty solid, especially if you think a teeth spacing like this would work for your hair type, like it works decently well for mine. So with that said, this was a review of the Steel Tooth Combs. Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you really liked this video, please click the thumbs up and consider subscribing. And also check the description down below for a link where you can find these combs for yourself. And also too, follow me on social media. I have social media channels for Spruce and Sharp, so they're listed down below as well. Follow me, let's connect. You know, of course I do post on my Instagram pretty frequently. And if you have any questions, related to this channel hit me up over email I have my email address down there as well so yeah with that said I'm gonna get this video put together and get it up on YouTube for all of you so you all have a good one and I'll see you all soon with another video